So I want to take a moment and have us actually all clap again for April, because that was a pretty profound <laughs> talk. It's totally worth sponsor time. So I'm here to talk about why in the world does Google do this, because fundamentally, Google is a business, right? You all work for businesses. Well, maybe you don't all work for businesses, but many of you, I imagine, have mortgages and rent to pay, and you want to earn money working in this whole open source thing or technology thing. So Google has as a marketing message that we're the fastest growing and most open cloud. But what in the world could that mean, and why do we think it's important? So we think it's important because our customers want it, but we actually impact it by contributing to projects outside of Google, starting projects inside Google, and working alongside the communities that we have uh, interest in. So this is opensource.google.com in the project section, and I did a search last night for JavaScript. We had more than 350 results for open source projects relating to JavaScript that Google contributes to. And we also contribute to or 20 million other lines of code to other projects. So I'll do the quick vanity stats. Almost 1% of all the pull requests on GitHub that are in public repos come from Googlers. Now this is mostly open source projects. Uh, we also made more than a billion pull requests, and pull requests commits and issues to open source by Googlers. So this was just in 2017. We really take engaging in these open source communities seriously. But I said why. This was really going to be about the why do we do this. Our customers want it. Our customers want the ability to choose the tools that they need choose the tools that fit their work case the best, and then they also need to be able to use multiple clouds, multiple sets of in infrastructure, and they need to be able to do this without being either locked into or locked out of particular types of tooling. And this, very conveniently, looks like open source. So open source is just a tool. Open source isn't a business model. Open source isn't, a, a for Google, a social movement. Google's view on open source is it's a tool. It's a really good tool, but it is one of many. Standards is another great tool. We work and put time and effort into standards bodies in order to help our customers have these composable systems, have these systems where things interoperate properly, behave as you would expect, and ultimately give the best experiences. Google also invests a lot in foundations, and foundations, we've, seen all, we've all seen on Twitter, foundations are sort of a hot button issue. Are they good, are they bad? Foundations, again, are just a tool, they're a framework. And the reason that we need this framework as a company is to actually engage with an empowered community. Companies can't just generally offer money to people working in open source because then you'd be an employee or a contractor and then legal things start to happen and it gets really complicated. So in order to have an empowered community which is funded, well funded, by large companies, you actually need a structure that a company can relate to. Now I know that the open source communities don't always relate well to foundations, but that goes back to the whole question of the empowered community. We need communities to work with the foundations, to say what they need, to engage with us, to take leadership positions, and then we will find the opportunities to improve that interaction. So why, 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 why of all of this? Why is Google so invested in open source? We said my customers are interested in it, that's great. But there's another piece, our customers want it and we know that our customers need secure, sustainable, healthy, trustworthy, and reliable tooling, systems, projects, languages, infrastructure, all of these things need to be all of these adjectives. There are lots more, of course. But without these, this investment in open source and this investment of money, investment of time, investment of effort, 
there's not a great way to build this cohesive ecosystem. So Google invests in open source projects, in open source foundations, in standards, with people, with money, with time, with coding, with community work, all with the goal to build stronger ecosystems. Make sure that there is a stable foundation for our customers to use the tools they want. It is clear that our customers want to make use of open source tooling. And we know that open source tooling gets us the broader perspective. And they, that all requires a community. Now, I was told this morning this is not valid JavaScript syntax. It is valid PHP, which dates me. I'll own that. I'll clean it up next time. So it requires a community. So we at Google invest in this way to help build an empowered and trusting diverse community. We know that diverse perspectives make our products, make our projects, make our companies better. And ultimately, that serves our customers. This goes right back to Google is a business. Many of you work for businesses. There needs to be a business reason for this. This isn't just because it's right and good. It's absolutely important that it's right and good, but it's also easy to sell as a business value. So ultimately, open source isn't free like sunshine. You don't just get it and it doesn't just work. It's more free like a puppy. <laughs> You end up needing to make sure you take it to the vet, take care of it, occasionally it wrecks your house. Um, you then have to clean up after it. But the key point in all of this is we are all accountable for training the puppies, for making sure that open source behaves in the way that we need it to, and investing in that, uh, in that project, in that standard, in that capability. And ultimately, recognizing whether you take it or not, in your community, feedback is a gift. We're all here trying to solve problems, but that also means that we need people to challenge our assumptions. We also need to make sure that we hear that feedback. We may not always act on it, and this is across companies, across foundations, across projects. Any pull request that anybody's opened recently, I'm sure has feedback that you weren't really looking for, but it does warrant taking a look at the time and the effort that was put in from the perspective of the other person and recognizing that that is a gift to you. It may not align with what your outcome wants, what your outcome is planned to be, but it may be worth a moment to sit and think and listen and then make a decision. So please provide us feedback. I know we're going to have discussions all this week about the proposed intent to merge the two JavaScript and Node.js foundations. This feedback and growing this community together is necessary to make a successful, sustainable, long-standing, reliable, trustworthy JavaScript ecosystem that will last well beyond any single project. Thank you. <laughs>